Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, obviously like the, the title says, I picked up a CB125. This is pretty much how I got it. There is one other box of parts. There's some turn signals. Uh, I don't know, maybe a couple brake components or whatever, but not much. But essentially this is how it came. I, I don't know if the guy bought it in pieces or not because there's quite a bit of like subtle things missing, right? Like the throttle, which is a very, a uh, different throttle than most is missing the top half. There's no controls on this part. Uh, I have obviously the engine and I have some of the mounting stuff. So what I think I'm gonna try and do today is just get a basic start out of it. I have no idea of the status of this motor. I probably overpaid for the bike, but I really needed the frame for something else that I was working on. But I figured at the very least I'd be able to get something run. I do have an exhaust. I do not have a carb for this, but we'll we'll get to that in a minute. Front and rear fenders, pretty typical for their age. It's a 75. It's got the tiniest little tank. I, I love that tank C combination as is, so we'll probably leave that. You know, shocks are, are it, it needs the full once over. He did buy a new set of fork gaiters. This one is the original, which is pretty crusty. That's the new one on it. There are head, there are new steering bearings, which are not in it. This is just loosely bolted together right now. I've got, it's just the ball bearings. It's a, it's really a bit of a puzzle. Do have the wiring harness. There's a horn, there's a key, there's a key switch with no key. I'll just have to hotwire it. Uh, and it, and I do have a coil there. So there's enough to just see if I can get it running, then it'll be worth a build or, or a restoration, or I'm not even sure where to go with it right now. But um, I've had the pieces sitting around and because I don't want to put this bike away with a question mark, I'm just, and it's easier to put it away, sort of put together. I'm going to pop the engine in, uh, see what I can come up with for carbs and just see if, if we can get something very basic running on this. I think I have a six volt battery. I'm not sure if I have enough acid for it. So I may have to rethink that. I would obviously do a 12 volt conversion on this anyway, but for now, um, this is what I got. I'm gonna get the tank and the seat off, which will take me about four seconds, and let's get the engine strapped in, start to lay out the wiring harness, and uh, find a battery, and then we'll look for spark, uh, fundamentally. I don't even think there's oil in this. Okay, got that in on three points. I didn't put the front uh, brackets on just because I didn't have enough uh, bolts. But I got two on the top, uh, one here and that one uh, there, it's just replacement. So for our purposes right now, we're pretty solid. So next I'm gonna roughly lay out the wiring harness and then uh, check for spark, see if we get that far. get a simple bike you get a pretty simple wiring so this is all the front headlight stuff I just have to figure out the kill switch and whether or not I have to short two wires together to turn that to on there's my key I'm just gonna plug those into one another as it to imitate key on I'm assuming this guy is the switched power 
to the coil. I'm just gonna check the diagram. Logically, they, they go together that way. Um, come further down, uh, this looks like the turn signal relay. This looks like the rear battery switch. I've hooked up my engine harness. This all goes to the rear tail light and the rear turn signals. My rectifier regulator is there. The only question I have is this guy. Um, and I just, I'm gonna guess it's the battery. I'm gonna look up on the wiring diagram just to make sure, but there's no other uh, leads. Just this guy is just a ground. It'll get bolted to the chassis somewhere. But yeah, I'm gonna check my wiring diagram on that and that and make sure the kill switch is in the on position. And if that all checks out, I'm gonna try and dig up some sort of battery or see if I can run it without. And uh, we'll find a spark plug, obviously, and check for spark. Figured out a few things. I was indeed right that this weird plug is indeed the battery, positive and negative. It was coiled up, the yellow, uh, goes into the factory green, which is the ground. The white connects up here. So somebody, uh, somebody changed this around a while ago because it's not factory colors. I just put a couple of little nubs in there and I have it running off a six volt charger. I was right also on this guy. This comes from the headlight wiring, which basically is the kill switch. So it essentially takes the voltage from here through the kill switch down and then sends a positive six volts in this case to our coil. So because I don't have this in the headlight, I'm just basically gonna plug this guy, the, the bike, the six volt positive straight into the coil and that should uh, give me enough to get a spark. I did find a spark plug. It's the right thread, I'm not sure it's the right depth, but it's enough for me to at least test the coil and spark there. So that's on, I'll just turn the key on, plug that in, and then we'll put you on the other side and check for spark. Key is on. Sending power to the coil. Uh, not sure if you caught it, but definitely there there is a, t a little bit of a spark there. Enough for I'm just gonna I'm gonna make sure that spark plug clears, and then I'm going to throw a little bit of carb cleaner down there and just see if it kicks over at all. That was the one, sounds great. Let's figure out a carb. I found this guy and I honestly, to be completely honest, I have no idea where it came from. It could be, my best guess is that it's a Kawasaki car. No, you know what? I don't even think that. I, I honestly don't know if it, if it's uh, where I got it. It was, I have a box of carbs. Um, I got a whole bunch that came with all my Kawasaki stuff, but this, this doesn't, it, I, I have some of the 200 ones as well that came off the KZ200. This is different and it's a Makuni carb. I'm not sure what its intended purpose was, but this does fit on the motor. It screws on nicely. Uh, there's the choke and is an, is an enricher choke. So I don't know. Does that make it newer? I don't, I don't know. 
I have all the parts for it, so really quickly I'm just gonna take off the bottom and just see if I can note what jets it has. There's the slide there. It's really clean. See, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a note of the jets and make sure nothing is leaking. Also, this seems to be a fuel mixture. I'm just gonna make sure that is kosher. And uh, yeah, throw it on, so th throw some fuel in. <laughs> thing I found missing I have the original exhaust which I was going to try and throw on except I don't have this ring to uh, hold it onto the motor or any of the shims or anything so I'm going to have to track that stuff down but carb is on I'm going to throw a little bit of gas in there and see if it'll fire up That got smoky. Whew. So yeah, at this point, I'm gonna call it for this video, but we're definitely going to do a build on this. Um, it was great, great to be able to just you know throw it up and 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 get it running. It's probably gonna be a 12 volt conversion, so I don't have to worry about the six volt stuff. So that's just a new rectifier regulator. But I definitely have to get uh the hardware to get the muffler on because i'm going to use as much as came with it as possible definitely going to get different handlebars and upgraded headlight and and things like that I actually it did come with the cluster and they're not bad at all so i think i might try and go with these and just figure out a way to lower them a little bit just so that they're a little bit more tucked in and maybe we'll do a mild sort of uh sort of job on this but I, I really like the original seat on it and I, it's not often that I get the original seat so I'm gonna do tank original seat those side covers I can't because it's a different carb I don't think I can use the air filter setup that's there so I'm definitely gonna go pod which may eliminate those side covers one of them has a broken tab anyway so they're it's not they're not perfect and they've been painted so but yeah there's also it's missing the side cover for that um, I don't have foot pegs. I do have the brake lever on the other side and obviously the shifter there. I think I have all the front brake stuff. And it's the same as the CB200 of some stuff that I have. Obviously chain is missing. It's even like the adjuster for this side is there but not on the other side. So there's all kinds of stuff. I have a CM185 frame that I may see if the swing arm fits. It's a little bit heavier duty and I also have, that's an 18 I think, I have a CB200 rear wheel, which is an 18. I would love to have 18s on this. Um, so yeah. All 
I had a bunch of these left over from a, a, a an CB550 that never fit. And uh, I don't know. There's a little bit of leaking there. It's 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 a tight fit, but it totally works. But uh, yeah, bike's running great. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. It helps out the channel greatly. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell to receive notifications of new videos that I have coming out. And until next time guys, we will see you later. Cheers.